G'day Ziggy D here and welcome back for another unique map commentary here on Path of Exile. In the last video we took a look at the uh, Maelstrom of Chaos ledge map and you guys really seem to enjoy that. So I set out to find some of the other unique maps and run them for you guys. Today we have, as you can see, the Coward's Trial. This is a level 66 crypt map and it was created by a diamond sponsor. Now the creator of this wanted to set out to create this kind of experience where you had to defend yourself from overwhelming hordes of, you know, like the zombie apocalypse sort of hordes of monsters trying to defend yourself from it. So we have an area has waves of monsters and there's a short duration between each wave and you have to try and make yourself uh, survive in each of these rooms uh, against all of these waves of enemies. Now the actual mods on this map uh, vary between 20 and 25 waves of monsters, so as you can see I'm about in the middle there, and uh, the, the delay between waves as well, delay uh, it varies between 30 and 50 seconds I believe, so I'm almost in the middle there as well, so I have a very average Coward's Trial map, but uh, you can like divine that if you wanted to change the numbers, but since it's only a 66 map, and it's mostly just for fun, it's really not worth doing so. Now this map doesn't have any rare, uh, any item quantity or rarity mods or anything like that on it, but what it does do, it gives you a ton of XP. Now since it's only 66, that's not going to be a ton of XP for my character at this point, since I'm at level 83, but it does give me a ton of gem XP, which I'm actually pretty excited about, because I'm trying to level the Empower gem, so let's see how much we can level the Empower gem. If we look at that, it's kind of just before the minimap there, I'll try and make sure I look at that at the end as well, because uh, the Empower gem gem takes like millions, billions of XP to level up, and uh, <laughs> I really want to get it leveled up, but it's just taking so long. So hopefully this map helps it out, but if nothing else, it's certainly going to be fun. Now the build I'm playing on, as always, is my Ethereal Knives Scion, and I'll put a link to uh, the various descriptions of this build in the description below, the uh, links for this one. But I'm going to turn on Arctic Armor, and uh, let's go into the Coward's Trial. This should be good fun. Alright, let's do this. Now remember, we are playing on Nemesis, so any rares that spawn will also have the Nemesis mod. Now as you can see, there's a series of portals here. The darkness looms forebodingly. Oh crap! <laughs> and as you can see, we've got my little Kiwi bird with me as well. He's going to be helping out in the battle. Mostly just providing moral support. He can't actually uh, help me too much, but uh... There's a little surprise at the end of this map. I'm not going to spoil it until we actually get there, but uh... Let's just say... No, let, let's let's keep away from any spoilers, actually. But, I, you know, you want to kind of manage these portals as the strategy for this is to head around each one, because if you stand in the middle and wait for them to stack up on you, you're gonna get a, things are going to get a little bit out of hand. Now, we actually have a rare to deal with, so what I'm going to do is use my Lightning Warp, get on the other side of him, and go, bring all my monsters on one side. Actually, standing in one corner is probably a better strategy for an EK Scion like myself to uh, have them walk over to me. But, you know, we've got a bunch of skeletons. Let's go around and just kill them off. It should be pretty fun. So, as you can see by the minimap, we're in the first room here. Now, there's a series of rooms like this, and uh, each one has a set amount of waves based on the waves that spawned on your actual map, the actual affix there. But you'll see tons of items will drop in this, but uh, none of them will be very high rarity, because there's no rarity mobs, mods on this at all. I'll try and cull some rare uh, rare mobs if we see some, but uh, for the most part, we're just going to get a bunch of whites, but it's going to be it's gonna be good XP, so it should be fine, just because of the sheer amount of mobs you get, and because you're not really doing any running between each one. So I think this room is finished. Nice nice little first room, pretty pretty easy to handle, pretty easy to handle. Oh no, wait, no, it's not finished, it was just a delay. Okay, alright, so the delay is a bit long there, and I I had already killed them all off. We've got a, you know, we're getting a good good density of blue mobs in here as well, so that's going to help out with the XP. And you know, maybe if we get lucky we'll get, it, we'll get a unique drop, but we'll see, we'll see. But I'm looking forward to uh, the gem XP for this one. This is a great way if you if you're uh, if you get a new gem like a level one gem that you need to level up to start using on your build. Uh, this is a great map to run to try and level that up. I'm probably going to have to turn item levels off soon because otherwise uh, the place is going to be get this place is going to be pretty flooded with item labels. So in the next room we might make this fun for myself and let all of the uh, mobs stack up for a while and then just slay them all at once. That should that sh that should be make things a little bit more interesting. Oh, something hit me hard. Setting off my molten shell from these archers. These guys use puncture, but I haven't actually been punctured yet. Ah, oh, there we go. <laughs> Speak of the devil. And here we have a necro. <laughs> the greatest spawn. When there's all of these dead bodies here. Man, we're going to have to kill him in a hurry. Let's see if I can get the coal on him. So, for people asking from the last uh, map run I did, I don't just use power siphon for the coal. I have item rarity linked to it as well. Which I can show you if I open up my inventory. 
just there. 55% increased rarity of items dropped. So anything I kill with that item rarity support gem will, uh, you know, have an increased chance of dropping as a rare or a unique item. It's only 55%, but it, it makes a bit difference. It makes a difference. I'll pick up that ring because blue rings can sometimes spawn well. Let's see. What have we got so far? We've got a few rares, actually, surprisingly. Still another, still another one? Oh no, the room grows still and quiet. Okay, next room. So for this one, I'm going to do some rounds. We'll slow them with my arctic armor effect. <laughs> and uh, we'll see, we'll, we'll get them to stack up a little bit. Come on, monsters. Go, kiwi bird. Oh, we have to stand in the middle to set them off. Okay. Oh no, rowers. Oh man, I might, re I might regret this. Oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, all right. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna hang around and wait for rolls. I'm gonna get killed, especially with a bubble mob here. Oh man, it's a bubble rower. <laughs> all right, that might, that might be a bit too dangerous with rowers. All right, all right. We've, we've cleared the rowers out. Let's see if we can wait a bit now. <laughs> okay, <laughs> that got crazy a little bit too quickly there. I don't want to die in a level 66 map. Oh, more rowers. Great. Oh man, they're stunning me brutally. I'll pop my, uh, my evasion flask there. Which, uh, since I'm using Iron Reflexes, converts over to armor. Which, uh, helps a lot against those rower hits. <laughs> there we go. Uh... Next wave. Come on, more rowers. Come on, they just charge straight at you. Because they're, like, at the perfect distance for a charge. They spawn out of the portals and charge straight away. That's actually pretty dangerous. If you're coming in here at a bit of a lower level with, uh, a bit lesser gear, all of those rower charges could really hurt. Let's get rid of those item labels. Look at this pile of corpses I'm standing on. That's awesome. <laughs> it's what the uh, it's, it's obviously what the creator wanted to go for, you know. <laughs> uh. Oh, more roll charges. Good thing our evasion flask is back up by the time the next wave spawns. Oh, this is pretty fun. <laughs> I I did run this with a um a group before, and uh the one of the people that was with us in the group had uh raised spectre and also um dominating below so each wave he would just like convert the entire wave over to our side and it would be like one army versus another army <laughs> it was a it was a super easy run of the map but uh yeah it was pretty funny seeing the this sheer amount of mobs dominated and also on the enemy side man we're just getting thrown around by these rows it's insane i'm gonna have to move back a bit get a better more effective ek range man this this one's been this room's been much more insane than the last one holy crap there's another row in there Okay, let's see if we can pick up some of these items now. Oh, there's a necro. Right, okay, I didn't, I didn't realize a necro had spawned. Ah, uh, more proximity shield. The worst, the worst affix on Nemesis by far. Let's see if we can get the coal here. Oh, we got a, an oak buckler. Anything else interesting dropped? Some scrolls. That should be the last one, I think, with that necro spawning. Oh, there's a, ne there's a rower there. Okay, it looks like everything else is not any good. The room grows still and quiet. Now, I think the third room... No, there's one more room after this. Ooh, this one has some walls. Okay, let's let's let this one stack up. Hopefully there's no rower spawns. Ah, oh, poison arrow. Thankfully, I just got a new chaos resist ring, which will help out a little bit. Come on, guys. <laughs> stack up. Okay, let's uh, let's round them up with Arcticama, <laughs> Corral corralling the mobs. Here comes the, I think a second wave will probably come in a second. Uh, <laughs> go on guys, everyone in, everyone in the circle. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's funny stuff. You gotta, you gotta make your own fun when you, you know, you're coming into a level 66 map at level 83. <laughs> okay, let's kill them off. Oh yeah, here comes the next, next one. Oh, slowed. <laughs> oh, the tar, the tar from the tar zombies. Oh man, corral them up! Come on, everyone, in the middle. <laughs> the uh, kiwis helping up, helping with the rounding up. So brave. <laughs> okay, <laughs> here we go. So uh, there's there's two other unique maps I want to run. There's the Vaults of Atri, actually, which I've already run. I do have some footage of, but I don't know if you guys want to see me open chests or not. Let me know, because I do have that footage, and I'll put it together if you want to see it. But the Vaults of Atri is just a, ch a pure uh, map with just chests. And the chests have increased rarity, but, uh, you know, it's, it's cool if you want to get some items. And uh, we did have a bit of fun with the guy I was doing it with, talking about the different items that dropped and stuff like that. But it's not exactly a battle map or of any, any sort of description. But uh, if you want to see that, let me know. But uh, the other ones I have to do, there's uh, there's one that's a level 69 or a 71 map, I think. And it's extremely dangerous. It has, like, monsters deal 150% extra damage, something like that. And that one is very dangerous. But I want to run all these unique maps for you guys. So 
I'll try and get one, and I'll try and do it, and I'll try not to die in it, because that would be a bit sad, dying, uh, doing a unique map for you guys. Although I suppose it might make good footage, but I do want to run each one of these, so I'll see if I can get a, hand of, uh, a hold of one. The, uh, of course, because this is a new league, it's still a bit tricky to get a hold of some of these unique maps, but uh, I do have a bit of currency set aside to try and purchase them so I can uh, get them. Or, you know, if I get lucky, maybe I'll have them drop for me as well. I've been doing lots of high-level maps lately, so I could have one drop for myself. I did, uh, that first one, the Maelstrom of Chaos, I did actually have drop for myself in a, uh, I just think it was a really good 66 map, actually. But uh, I got, like, a ton of map drops in it, including that Maelstrom of Chaos. So that was a value 66 there. But, uh, well, there's still another wave to go. But yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to them. The other, the other map is, uh, I can't remember what the other map's called. There's, uh, oh man, I can't remember, I can't remember what they are, but I'm keen, I'm, I'm keen to do, to do both of them, but, uh, yeah, one of them will be very dangerous, so. We'll see how we go, we'll see how we go. This room's been, been stacking up alright. Check out the, uh, <laughs> the pile of bodies. Every now and then I do, like, a crit, and because I'm running Hatred at the moment, uh, they just explode into ice, so there's like chunks of ice everywhere as well, as well as all the corpses. Now, I need to kill this Necro. <laughs> Bring her fragility. At least he doesn't have a bubble, so I can just stand back here and kill him. I don't have to run through the tar. And we'll get the cull and see if we can get anything good. Well, there we go. Almost too far. Oh, just a portal scroll. Come on. <laughs> Alright, so we'll finish up this room, and uh, we'll go into the next room, which I think will be the final room, where there's a little extra surprise at the end. Okay. I think we're good in this room now. Into the next one. Oh no, here's another mob. There we go. Okay, we're in the final room. So, same deal again, a bunch of waves. And, uh, there is a way to prepare for this final room, but I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to play it normally and see, see how it goes without preparing. I hope I don't live to regret that, or I hope I, I, hope I don't die to regret that more specifically. We can use our, use our lightning warp teleport to get around the room while we throw our EK knives. Bam. <laughs> So as you can see, I'm still trying to do my best to round them up in the middle by the uh, pile of corpses in the center of the room. It's kind of satisfying doing that. <laughs> so I'll use my Articama again to uh, run around them and keep them in there. There we go. <laughs> it's pretty satisfying stacking them all up on top of each other like that. It reminds me of when I was trying to uh, record my Heavy Metal Infernal Blow Marauder video. And I uh, collected up every mob in the zone just for one big explosion at the start of the video. It was pretty fun. You guys can see that if you are. Uh, go and check out that video. But uh, there was a few points there where I just like, I, te I was testing it out and did it, doing it. And there was just like a pile of chunks on the in the middle of the map from stacking up all of them on top of each other. The game can get pretty gory when you use like uh, Infernal Blow and the extra gore mod and things like that. <laughs> The Devouring Totem is having a field day in here. Check it out. <laughs> he has so many corpses to consume. <laughs> if I get hit more, he'll, uh, he'll pop up again. And uh, he'll, he'll, he'll have plenty of fodder to keep my health and mana at full. So I, I'm, I'm very... This is like the perfect map for me. As a, a uh, Devouring Totem, Mana Shield, Eldritch Battery ca character. Pretty fun stuff. Kiwi Totem's just... The, the Kiwi's just like staying off the pile of bodies. <laughs> I gotta be buried in it soon. Check, <laughs> check it out. <laughs> oh, that's pretty funny. Oh, so many blue skeletons too in this room. It's been really good spawns, and it's getting pretty hectic in here now. I think we might be reaching the uh, conclusion of this map. Oh crap! <laughs> yeah, you guys have a bit of an idea of what's going on now. I think the uh, boss of the room has spawned. <laughs> there he is. Oh crap! Oh man, I don't know if I- oh. <laughs> oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to make it out of this. Oh, it's only a 66 bet, but look at all of these skeletons. I'm just gonna like hide in my little corner here and EK them away. Come on, Devouring Totem, do some work, do some work. <laughs> so the way to prepare for this map, if you want to, if you want to run it safely, is to uh, get your devouring totem, get your corpse explosion, and uh, have them go off manually. You know, you wanna, you wanna keep that going constantly throughout the fight, because you want as few bodies at the end as possible. Because this guy comes into the room and just resurrects everything. Now, I'm, gonna, I'm going to be able to slowly work through this by like using my devouring totem and occasionally crit freezing things which destroys the bodies, but I, I kind of need to <laughs> kill this guy, because otherwise I'm, it's not going to happen. Thankfully, he doesn't have too much life. I don't know if I'm going to be able to get the coal off on him. Let's see if we can. Oh, come on. Oh, yes, we got the coal. And we got a unique. Hey, it's Quicholi. Sick. That's a sick one. Awesome. <laughs> sick conclusion. All right, I'm going to clean up the rest of these mobs. There's still quite a few blue ones in here as well, so these will give out a ton of XP. Oh, Cartographer's Chisel. <laughs> 
Uh, it's a pretty exciting end to the map. Okay, the oppressive atmosphere is slowly dissipates. Check out this. Wait, just wait for it though. We're not we're not there yet. Bam! <laughs> oh, that's pretty insane. And you guys thought my calling wouldn't pay off. I got a unique item. I totally wouldn't have got that if I didn't call. Maybe not, but... <laughs> oh well, I, I like to pretend it paid off. But uh, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna have to do some IDing here. Let's see how some of these items... I can't even drop this helmet because there's too many items here. Over here, come on. <laughs> this is insane. So, you can see the insanity that happens when you uh, don't clear out the room properly when that boss spawns. So, let's see if any of those items are any good. Got a, I brought plenty of scrolls, as you can see, prepared nicely for this map. Oops. There we go. And there's Quacholi, Spike Mall. This is a pretty cool item. It's a really nice leveling base. does a lot of damage. But, uh, you know, like the increased physical damage and the physical flat physical mod. Plus 46 to all attributes means, you know, it really lets you run any skills and things like that you want. 10 life gain on kill is pretty nice for leveling, but uh, also, enemies explode, uh, dealing 10% of their life after being killed as fire damage. So it basically gives you Infernal Blow. You can use any skill you like and it turns into Infernal Blow. Sick, sick mace for anyone playing the Infernal Blow Heavy Metal Marauder. Quick, 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 So, let's see if any of these other items are good. Oh, this has actually got some life on it. Eh, it's not very good though. Uh... That's not very good too. It has a nice regen roll. A nice cast speed roll as well. But, uh, you know, leech, Leech's life and fire damage don't, certainly don't help a caster. That's, uh, ooh, oh man. Well, that's actually sellable. It's a level 38. Holy crap, that's actually a good leveling item. 30 life and uh, try resist at only level 38. Such a low level roll that'll actually sell because it is low level roll. Eh, uh, potential summoner helmet. No good though. No good. No good. And no good. And uh, neither is that little ring. Let's move some of this currency around and see if there's, there's a few other rares in here to get. There's a cartographer's chisel. We'll get you. Um, some scroll, plenty of scrolls to pick up. The shark skin tunic, the royal axe, and uh, I think that's everything. I'm not gonna bother with any of the whites in here. There's just way too much to deal with there. Anything good? Oh wow! Look at that evasion roll. 70, 76 life and a resist. That's probably actually sellable. That might go for a couple chaos. And uh, that one's no good. So actually a few a few are items for this. I actually probably did better with this one than I did with the other map. <laughs> but uh, let's check out my experience before I forget. Yeah, how do we go? Oh, I need to like get somewhere with more light or something. It's a bit hard to see now. Okay, we'll have to we'll go back to the other room because we could actually see in there. Okay. Empower. Oh, it's like slightly closer to the map. <laughs> As you can see, Empower takes forever to level up. I've been doing like level 77 maps and stuff, and uh, it's still only this far, so oh, it's going to be a while before my Empower is ready, but that's alright, because it's also going to take me a while to get a six link to actually use it on AK. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I thoroughly enjoyed running this map. Good fun, good fun. Actually pretty dangerous at the end there if you uh, get yourself stuck in that situation on a bit of a lower level character with, or a bit, you know, bit poorly geared character. Bit dangerous, but uh, tons of fun and tons of XP for a lower level character. Anyway, that's it for now. I'm Ziggy D, and thanks for watching.